All right, so we had a buy point here this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We got two main charts here. We've had two buy points so far. We got another possible buy entry coming right now. So our main chart is this black chart. It sets the market up. The first thing we have to do when we log in into any market, this works on all futures, all stocks, currencies. So any market you trade, whether you trade the S&P 500 futures, crude oil, gold, Russell 2000, Dow Minis, whatever, you have to look at the market. Is it, is it trending up? down or sideways it can only do two things we go vertical if the market's going vertical on us where we buy retracements and sell retracements or it's going sideways where it's a chop market we sell the high buy the low so what we do is we look at the angle of this moving average and, I, and everybody knows i'm not a fan of moving averages but i'm a fan of them for trend direction so if it's angled up which this is the magenta ma if it's angled up we want to buy market profile now the main market profile are these three levels, big blue line, big red line, big green line. That's volume profile. It's been around since 1994. Now when volume profile, the cool thing about it is it's not taking my opinion or your opinion in the market for support resistance. It's actually taking order flow. So it looks at all these algorithms out there, all these high frequency traders, all these banks, hedge, hedge funds, prop firms, it's taking all their volume and it's spitting out three lines for you. So this looks on the internal part, internal part of the market. And you get three shots at buying the market then. If it's in an uptrend, you get three shots at buying volume profile. If I'm in an uptrend, I want to be a net buyer. The first buy signal we got is the low value area. Now, the big green is called the low value area. Okay. If it comes within a couple ticks of it, it's a lot exceeded, just not close a body of the candle below it. And when it came down to it, our last buy signal, you want to look at a positive market delta. You wait for it for a positive green bar. Once it closes the green bar, you're going to open your position up at the open of the next bar or the close of this bar. Your stop loss is always two ticks below the swing low. We have we want to contain risk because when we get stopped out, which we will on, on, on trades, we want to contain our risk. So our risk was contained two ticks below that swing low. That was our entry at the open of this next bar. Okay, that was that buy signal. In an uptrend, according to my rules, and you can see them on my PDF at daytradingthefutures.com, daytradingthefutures.com, Look at my PDF, the rule states this. If I'm in an uptrend, which the angle of the magenta MA is angled up, I want to be a net buyer of LVA. It came down to LVA, there's my positive market delta at 332. There's your open entry, would be the open of the next bar, stop loss two ticks below the swing low. The next buy signal came at this blue line. Now this blue line is very important because that is the control point. The control point is the most volume that has traded in any particular market that you're trading. It happened to be crew here. So this tells me major support resistance. So the control point, I only trade with trend. I do not trade with chop. I ignore it with chop. If I'm in a range at this magenta MA, if the trend filter was flat as a pancake going horizontal, I would not trade off the control point. I only trade it with trend. And how you want to trade it is, is a simple break out through. If it breaks through, if it retests, you get a retest of it, and then you look for a positive market delta, which look at your positive market delta over here. There's our second possible entry over here, market delta. Look at positive 438. So those were your two entries so far. Your stop loss was two ticks below the swing low. So those are your two entries so far on crude. It's been two for two today, according to my system. Now I tell traders, you get a lot of volatility between 7.30 to 10.30 in the futures market. We are futures traders, we're not stock traders. You don't have to wait for the New York to open to get some volatility. So what we have is we have a breakthrough control point, retest, pause the market delta. Now the next setup is you get three shots at market profile and an uptrend on these solid levels. The next shot is right here at HVA. So the first shot was at low value area. The second shot to go long was a break retest of high, uh, the control point. The third is right here at the HVA, which is high value area. Now what it needs to do here is I'm not going to short high value area because the market's in an uptrend. I'm not a counter trend trader. Counter trend traders typically get smoked in the market and they continually try to catch a falling knife or jump in front of a runaway train. We're smarter than that. We, we try to trade with the professionals. So what we do is we know we don't sell high value. We, we're net buyers, right? So we want to see it break through, same thing. Breakout, retest, 
and we try to do an ABC long there too. This is an ABC long off the control that just happened. There's our ABC long. And now same thing, it's gonna try to ABC long here. Now, as long as it doesn't close below 45, you wanna see positive market delta, it hasn't gave a positive closed bar yet. There'd be another long signal here if we get a positive market delta, it hasn't done, it's still ticking. If it does not close, positive market delta, and I close back inside, and body can't close below HVA, I would look for a retest of HVA, negative market delta, and you probably come out and take off the lows here down to 4609. So this is the cool thing about market profile. Not only is it a leading indicator, you're not trading a stochastic or a moving average coverage divergence. You're not trading a moving average. You're not trading some of these thousands of lagging indicators that's out there. Market profile doesn't lie to you. It doesn't have an opinion, right? It's just telling you exactly where the volume is. And it, it groups where the volume is, and it tells you support and resistance based upon the volume of the market. Of all the, all the trades coming through in the market, this blue line will predict where the support and resistance is based upon these three levels. This blue line is the most volume traded, and this HVA and LVA is derived from this blue line, which is volume. So that gives us three entry points. So when you're trading any market that you trade, I don't care what it is, you can trade the system with any stock, any future, it doesn't matter, any currency, it's the exact same setup every day. If I'm in an uptrend, you just have to decipher if you're in an uptrend or a downtrend, it takes you half a nanosecond. If I'm angled up, I gotta be a net buyer. I want to hit LVA, positive market delta, or ABC long, break through control point, retest it. It can break through the wicks, I don't care, just let it, let it close a body, whole body candle below the control point. And then you take the retracement, and here's your second buy signal, a 438. Look at that number, number's high. Anything over 200 on crude's a big number, 438, 332. Really easy entry, stop loss, two ticks below swing low. Now your target's gonna be symmetry dots over here on this white chart. These symmetry dots are targets. So if you got long off the control here, and this gave us confluence, this gave us a confluence right here because that a Fibonacci dot buy. But here was your target on selling 50% of your position, these red symmetry dots. So not only do I know my exact entry is the open of this next bar, the close of market, del market delta right here on both of them, I know my stop is always two ticks below the swing low. I also know my targets. My targets are the symmetry dots off my J signal white chart right here, which are these little red dots. I want to sell 50% of the position, and then I want to try to go to the next set of symmetry dots, which will typically be around 25 to 50 ticks ahead, and they are leading also. So not only do I know my entry, I know my exit, and I know my stop. Okay? So those are the three entry points in an uptrend that you're going to deal with. If you are in an uptrend, you're going to try to buy low value area, pause the market delta. Break, retest, control point. Break, retest, we have another possible trade developing right now. So that's a developing right now. Now, if it closes, like I said, below this area, what do I want to do? I want to look for the short. I want to retest that red line, and I want to look negative market delta, and we'll probably come out and take the lows out down here at 46 because corrective waves, when it finally changes trend, they typically take out the lows. Okay? That's how you trade the three spots in the market with volume profile with any market that you trade in an uptrend. Now, I have these little dots. You say, well, I see your solid lines. Great entry there, great entry there, possible entry right now. But what are these little dots here? That's price profile. That's been around since 1985. Volume profile has been since 1994. What I do there is if they're stacked. If they're stacked on top of each other within a couple of ticks like here, see how it's three times stacked area, stopped the market, and got drilled. See how my profile just stopped the market and its tracks to the tick. It's to the exact tick on, on the profile here. See how I got drilled right there? That's called a brick wall. If I, if I get these market profiles that stack on top of each other within a couple of ticks, it's called confluence. And you see confluence, it will stop markets in their tracks. All right, but your main one you want to follow on any market you trade are these solid levels. That's your first go. That will tell you the volume internally, what's going on with the market. You want to play off that. If it so happens that price profile, these small dots overlap, so be it. Do you need them? No. You can just trade off volume profile by themselves because these lines will adjust during the day. And they'll lock themselves in 
and they'll stop moving until new value is found. Once new value is found and price gets away from it and retest it, you can play off those levels again. It works like that every single day. And if you see all the charts we have and all the videos, the same videos every day, the traders fail because they think that there's a holy grail out there. There's not a holy grail. You know, stochastics are not going to do it. You can't do it with stochastics. You can't do it with moving averages. They're lagging indicators. A lot of lagging indicators. You have to do it with the internals of the market. And this is why volume profile and price profile together create major support resistance. Okay? Now, that's an uptrend. If it was a downtrend, I'd do the opposite. If I'm in a downtrend, I would sell HVA. I would sell the break retest of the control point, And I would sell the break retest of LVA. I wouldn't buy LVA in a downtrend, just like I'm not selling HVA in an uptrend up here. I, I want it to break through, retest, and try to go higher. Now, if it fails, if I break back inside of it and I retest it, then, yep, I'll take a shot at it short. With negative market delta, I'll probably take out the lows. And that's all we do.